Hi friends and welcome back to Lori's Boston Found where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay and I chronicle my journeys as a reseller here on YouTube. If you are new here, welcome. I have a, a video that recently had gained a little bit of attention and so I do have some new subscribers and I just want to welcome you and let you know how grateful I am that you're here. Today I have a really fun video for you. I recently went to this incredible store in Cambridge called The Garment District. I've been there a couple times before and I think I've even brought you along with me a couple of years ago to this particular location. They have an area in this store called By the Pound. It's very similar to the bins or what many of us know as the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound. The difference is that it is literally just a giant pit of clothing that they throw there. They open 850 pound bales of clothing every single morning and clear them out at the end of the day. They've been doing this since 1981. I did a little research on the company, but they have been closed for 16 months during COVID and just reopened. So you can imagine how excited I was to get in there and start digging. I'm gonna bring you on a little thrift with me first and then we are gonna come back with a haul. Um, I ended up getting 23 pounds of clothing. I spent $46. Um, I also got a couple things in the regular retail location. So let's do a little thrift with me around the garment district in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and then meet me back here for an incredible haul. All right, I hopped right into that pit of clothing. Everything here is $2 per pound. And yeah, there was so much to go through. When we first got there, there were probably two or three other people and it got as busy as maybe 10 people. But I was surprised at how much privacy we had and how much space we had. Um, I wasn't fully prepared to come here today because we had just planned on going to Buffalo Exchange on this particular day. It was also such a luxury to be able to just go through things slowly. Uh, unlike the bins recently when there have been time constraints because of COVID or you only had an hour to shop. So we were really going at a snail's pace, which I noticed when I was looking back at this footage. We kind of just picked a corner of the room and we were going through things. Those pants right there, I'm gonna talk about later in the video. I did grab those. Kim is such a great helper. She found some awesome stuff for me. You can see people trickle in. There are some bins along the wall where they put like bric-a-brac and shoes and purses. On this particular day, there weren't many shoes to go through. It looked like they had been pretty well picked over. Kim always tosses me stuff. She also has a habit of saying all the brands out loud when she's next to me because as she's learning what brands I like to pick up and sell, she will continue to toss them my way but she purposely says brands out loud so i hear them and then every once in a while i'm like oh my gosh i love that brand throw that to me so that's kind of a fun little strategy we have in place she's super helpful I cut out a lot of this footage because I had so much of just going through piece by piece by piece. It is a good way to show people just how long it takes, how many frogs you have to kiss before you find your prince, um, so to speak. I don't mind though, it's fun to pick through things and you, you never know what you're gonna grab. This is a local brewing company in Boston. I do end up grabbing this t-shirt. This piece I left behind, I'm just gonna say that. It is very cool, I do think it would have made me some money, but I have so much vintage I'm working my way through right now. I was really trying to stick to modern pieces. Um, this is the brand on it that I'm gonna show you, Pappy Boas. Uh, this Alambica, to shift gears really quickly, this is the brand of those funky pants I showed you. I'm gonna talk a little bit about these later. The value on these is great, both resale and retail really funky style but i did grab those mm -hmm. 
This is a sweater you might notice. This is what I'm wearing in today's video. It's really nice. It's just Ann Taylor, a size medium. I thought initially it might have been camo, but I guess not. It almost looks like a magnified uh, herringbone pattern. There's Kim digging away. We are like sweating by this point. I think we were here for about two hours. This is an Everlane sweater that I grabbed, and I'm sorry I'm not using any of the original sound. They do play music in the background, so I have to block it out. There's my little pile over there in the corner. I wanted to pick up this Garth Brooks band tee. I wasn't sure if it would sell well or not. I probably should have investigated a little more, but it had a sensor tag. Nice. Buy the pound, two dollars. Yeah. All right, we go out to our car after this, and I am greeted by a thirty-dollar parking ticket. I was so bummed. I'm like, let's go back in and find more stuff that I can flip and make back the money. That's the bird's eye view of the pit, and I go upstairs, and this is where they have all these curated sections. So I'm in a luau Hawaiian shirt only section right here. There's a rack dedicated just to that. I'm walking around here really still upset <laughs> that I got a parking ticket. I was so excited that I saved so much money and then to get a $30 parking ticket, I was like, oh, just mad at myself because I forgot to come out and feed the meter. This is another rack that is dedicated to just banties. As you can see, is a Barb Marley. Um, they're asking $17 for that. Luke Bryan. Another 17, I think there's a Rolling Stones one. This one is so cool, but this one they're selling for 27. It's just so cool how they have this store organized. Um, there's this section coming up here with hoodies and sweatshirts from the 80s and the 90s. I just love how they break it down. Now, to my knowledge, this is not a buy sell trade store. So I believe everything you see in this store is just a donated item. And then they just break it down and make it a highly curated selection and put it in different departments. It's just fascinating. The store is an institution in Cambridge and it's so cool. Taking a quick stroll through the sweaters here and then I will bring you along with me for the rest of this little tour and I'll let you just enjoy the music and see all the different sections the store has to offer. back. Isn't that such a special place? I was really pleasantly surprised to have access to the pit again and to be able to just really have a lot of space to myself. Um, at one point I left my purse across the room on the windowsill. The employee said that it gets scary on the weekends and they will do multiple bales of clothing. It's also my understanding that on Fridays, according to their website, it's a dollar per pound. So I don't know if they're still doing that post COVID, but it was really fun to dig through. I probably could have stayed longer if I was a little bit more prepared. I would really recommend being super cozy when you go there because you are bending down, crouching down, sitting the entire time. But honestly, there's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> so let's get right into the haul. I'm gonna start first with some stuff that um, I got at the retail location. I bought one thing to resell at the retail 
part of the store and um, and I showed it in my thrift with me and then I bought my son Rocco some back to school stuff. So I was really excited to find these all birds. They're basically new, not basically new, they are new. I just have to snip this tag off. These cost just $16 and they retail for $98. So what I'm seeing for comps um, as far as what these are selling for is anything between 50 and $80. They are new. This is one of their classic colors, so it's not a limited edition color. I didn't even realize that Allbirds made like a ballet flat, but these are, I'm not sure what size these are. These are a woman's size 10, so I would probably list these for $80 and probably get somewhere between 60 and 75 for these. Uh, they're not like typical thrift store prices, uh, but it's a very curated store, as you saw, like it's divided by decades and themes. It has a designer section. It has just a section for Hawaiian shirts, which is where I got Rocco's back to school clothes. Rocco has really been on a tear with his Hawaiian shirts, and I think this is going to be his uniform for back to school. So I FaceTimed him while I was there and I just picked him up some Hawaiian shirts. I definitely could have gotten these for better prices. This one was $14. The brand is just Puritan. Definitely was not going for brand on these. I just showed them to Rocco. Batik Bay, I liked this one. Rocco liked this one too because it had little flamingos on it. This one is all cotton and really nice. I just like the colors on this. It's not as silky because it's 100% cotton. Little palm leaves on this I thought were really cute. That was $45 for those three pieces and my entire haul. Y'all set lucky? Just by coincidence, I got 23 pounds, came to $46, so almost exactly the same price as those three shirts. So a huge difference in your savings there. It was a lot more work to find these other pieces, but let's dig right in and I'll show you what I got. I'm gonna start with this piece right here. This is from Ann Taylor and it's just like a really cozy sweater. It's like an acrylic wool blend. It has um, sleeves that are just slightly belled out and there's this really fun pattern. It's a medium, so it's not as oversized as it's supposed to be, and it is very warm. It is about 75, 80 degrees outside today, but it's cool in my house, and I really wanted to wear this. I also got my hair colored. It's darker again. I'm so happy. So whenever I get my hair done, I have to film a video because that's one less day I have to do my own hair. These are some Prana jeans. Um, I've been really trying to pick up a lot of denim for back to school. These are on Prana's current website. I believe they're $89 and they are just a basic um, skinny jean. These are in a size 10. They're a newer style. I'll show you the label if you're not familiar with Prana. Prana is known for their athletic wear and their yoga wear, um, but I have sold their jeans before, I, I think. I've definitely sold pants from them before that weren't like yoga pants. I'm curious to see how these do. I'll probably price them between $35 and $45. This was my miss of the day. I saw this camo Nike, um, just like a long sleeve shirt that I thought was pretty cute, pretty lightweight. My average cost of goods here was I think $1.58, 29 items for $46. But then I washed this and when I got it out of the wash, I realized that it had this really bad bleach spot on it. So I don't know, maybe Angie will use it for working out, but I'm not going to list that. This I just got for myself. I thought this was really cute. This is just um, Ava and Viv, which is like, I think a plus size at um, Target, but it just says these are the days. I'll just wear that banging around the house. I got this Ralph Lauren shirt for Anthony out in Pittsburgh. He's been doing a lot of Zoom calls for his work. It's just a Ralph Lauren size medium, all cotton. And these I got for Jay and then that's it for family members. It's really fun to like shop for your family when you're there. These are Nike golf shorts in a medium. Um, again, I've mentioned this on my channel recently that my kids don't do long shorts anymore. My boys just want like a five inch inseam. These are like officially dad shorts because they're long. So those are going to Jay, otherwise I would have given them to Rocco. I did get a few things at Goodwill earlier in the day, but I think I'm gonna do a, a Goodwill haul separately because I've made a few trips to Goodwill and I'm gonna keep all those in one haul. This is just an Urban Outfitter velvet uh, like velour hoodie. Oh, it's backwards, sorry. This is size medium. And I might have passed on this, except I thought this little pattern down the sleeve was really cool. I just thought it added like a little element of style to this. 
Definitely a little bit oversized. I don't know if it's men's or women's. I think it's women's, but I'm not sure. It's pretty unisex looking, but it seems a little big for a medium, so maybe it is men's. I thought this was so cute. Um, this is a sundry, S-U-N-D-R-Y. For years I called it sundry, but I think it's sundry. Um, I love the little pleat in the back. So cute, and I believe this was sold at Anthropology. That's what a lot of the listings said, but I haven't looked at the SKU to see. But Easy Like Sunday, this was a song my dad used to always sing when I was little, Easy Like Sunday Morning. My dad is the most chill human. The song is very appropriate for him. These are just some Levi's 7-Eleven skinnies. They're in really good shape. They're a nice black, um, and they are a size 28 probably list those between 35 and 40 45 dollars hope to get about 30 for these um, the Levi skinny jeans I think I've sold one or two pairs they're more like 25 30 dollars I'm hoping now that it's back to school season that I might get a little bit more for those these are a great pair of jeans from Bonobos which I don't think I've sold their jeans before I have sold their like khaki pants for men's. This is a brand that I will always pick up. They typically sell between like $25 and $30, but it's just a consistent seller. And these were a really nice style. There was a lot of selection of jeans. And when they throw things into the pit or the by the pound, it's a mixture of things. So from the men's department, women's department, some of them are raw donations, they said, and some are things that have been in the store for two or more months that they start to pull and they put in the by the pound. So definitely gonna add this to my rotation. Um, this hoodie I loved. I'm tempted to at least wear this one or two times. I really love this jewel tone green. This also feels like brand new. The, the texture and feel of this hoodie is so nice. It's not quite as heavy as like a reverse weave champion, but um, it's just a real quality feel. I love this. I have really good luck with Adidas. When I look back on my sales and stuff, most of my Adidas stuff sells. I'm not making a million dollars off of Adidas, but um, it does pretty well. So I loved that color. I think that's gonna sell pretty fast. Again, back to school, I think it was really good. This is um, a Diane von Furstenberg, and it's just her classic black wrap dress. It does have little bell sleeves, but this is what Diane von Furstenberg is known for, is her wrap dresses. Um, I will say that I washed this, and I didn't get it out of the dryer as soon as I should have, and it, it definitely appears to have shrunk. I might throw it on my mannequin and just see that it still looks decent before I send it off to the real rail, but I was kind of bummed about that. I grabbed this Trillium Brewing Company shirt. This is, um, if you're from Boston, you know the Trillium Brewery uh, is a little staple in downtown Boston. Um, but I thought this was really cute. I don't know that it will sell for much. I do like to have local stuff in my closet, so I thought that might be a cute thing to add. This may not have been the best pickup. It is the band Train and it was a band tee, so I didn't think too, too much about it. I just grabbed it. It's the Mermaids of Alcatraz tour, and um, I just washed it. It's in really great condition, but the comps weren't great. I mean, some sold for like $8, and then some sold for 20. So I'm thinking maybe I'll get about $15 for it. This brand looked really good. I love the combination of, you know, like the maroon and pink together with the cream. But the brand is Charlotte Brody, New York. Here's the tag. I've never seen this before, but the comps are really good. A lot of these blouses retail between like $150 and $200. So I'm hoping that when I sell it, I get somewhere in that $40 or $50 range. I was actually, to be truthful, I was looking more at the... Um, the cost than I was the sell comp. So I need to double check. This was one of the best surprises of the day. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, Alambica, Alambica, am I saying that right? This was new with tag and I saw these crazy funky pants, which, you know, not necessarily my style, but it has this like lagging look and like the oversized pockets and it was just unique enough and wild enough for me to want to grab it and look it up. Um, and then I noticed that on this tag, it's just written in pencil, but it says $108. And I thought, hmm, there might be something to that. Also, it's marked as a size five, 
which is, you know, some sort of vanity sizing. So everything about it was just unique enough that I figured I would take a peek. And sure enough, this is a really underrated brand. I mean, I don't know how frequently you'd come across it, but this is the, that's the name of the company. It's the brand, Alambica. So I found these and then um, my girlfriend, Kim, who I was shopping with, found another pair. She held them up and when she showed me the tag, I was like, oh my gosh, I just grabbed a pair of those. So then at that point, I looked up the comps and the comps were really promising. So I'm hoping to get between like 40 and $70 for these pants. They're wild, so I don't know who's gonna be looking for them. I don't expect that they will be a really fast mover, but at the same time, definitely a high-valued brand. Um, the other pants, they're like MC Hammer pants where the, like, the crotch is like down to the knees. The other pants are even more wild. I grabbed this towards the end. This was a nice little find for the end. It's just an Everlane wool blend gray sweater. Um, hard to tell if this hasn't been shrunk a little bit, but I usually look at the arms when I'm questioning whether or not something has been shrunk. And the arms on this seem like perfect length. There are a lot of styles out right now that are just a cropped style. So maybe this was washed. I mean, it does show a, a little bit of wear, a little bit of pilling. Everlane is just one of those brands that's really consistent in um, my closet. If you price it right, if you try to price Everlane too high, for me at least it will sit unless it's a special piece like i sold one of their chore jackets and that sold pretty quickly um, i think some of their shoes can be really popular it just depends on what you're selling from them but i think i'll probably end up selling that for like between 30 and 35 dollars i could be wrong but i didn't look at comps i just grab everlane if it's a nice piece this i wasn't sure about i have had free people colored denim sit forever in my closet and i am just such a sucker to this day for free people it is one of my top selling brands if not my top selling brand i don't consider this color green like i do most like colored denim um, like i had a pair that was almost like teal colored and i had a pair of like rust colored pants this army green i feel like this is kind of like a neutral a basic that a lot of people wear this looks great with black I don't know, I like this color personally, so I'm hoping that these do okay. Definitely will manage my expectations. I won't price these high. Maybe I'll list them for 30 or $32, and they'll probably sell between like 20 and 25 is my guess. And they're a smaller size, but I really do like this color. They were in excellent condition. Kim grabbed these, and these were a great little find. These are Ted Baker pants. These are a 30 regular, so I don't know, let me just see. Are these men's or women's? I'm trying to see where the button is. It seems like they're women. Like that's where I would... Yeah, I think they are women. And have this like cute little um, fold over in the back with this button. They're super cute, like little, like little trouser pants. Ted Baker, um, another brand that has potential to do very well, but I think with Ted Baker, um, the two pieces that I'm thinking of, um, I had a pair of Ted Baker pants and a purse that I bought retail arbitrage at Nordstrom Rack. The purse was a terrible buy. Um, I barely made my money back on that. And the pants were a decent profit, but I had them priced really high for a long time. And they finally did sell, um, but I don't think I will price these like too high. I have to look at comps on that, but I'm guessing I'll price them between 40 and $50 and they'll probably sell between 30 and 40, guessing. This was a questionable pickup. Um, it's Anthropology Knitted and Knotted is the brand. Um, it's the style I'm not quite sure about, but see, Knitted and Knotted has this like little charm. Um, and it's pretty, it's, it's a nice tunic, uh, ruffly sleeve. I don't know if this is just, you know, early 2000s, but not quite Y2K. So like, just like maybe like 2010, like that's really not what I'm going for right now. <laughs> Um, but I'm not sure. It's still cute and it, I like the length of it. And I also liked the color. It's a nice neutral color. I think it would be cute with jeans. I don't know how that will do. I was excited about these. I like cut from the cloth. I don't pick it up all the time. It's a brand that does okay, but when it's priced up, I don't know if it's really worth buying. Let me know how you do with this brand. Um, but this is the High Rise Mia Skinny and these are new with tags. So this was an easy pickup. They're size zero. A lot of these jeans that I got are small sizes and most of them are skinny jeans. And I know that a lot of people are looking for wide leg jeans right now. 
But I personally think skinny jeans, I, I think of skinny jeans, jeans like I do leggings. Like you're always gonna want them with riding boots in the fall. I think they look really cute with ballet flats. I still go for my skinny jeans and leggings when I wear teaks and stuff, but I mean, I'm old, so I don't know. <laughs> um, this is the other Alambica. Check these pants out. These are wild. Oh my gosh, look at these. There's the back. I mean, they look really comfortable. <laughs> and they, they look like great post-pandemic pants as well. These are a size six, so I don't know. I'm guessing these are like an extra large. This had a $72 price tag on it. But I mean, these two pieces right here, if I made $35, $40 on each of them, um, that would be pretty amazing. So yeah, I'm excited to try a new brand. Once I saw a second one, then I wanted to keep searching for more because once I looked up the comps and saw that they went for money and they were unique, I was like, oh, this, this could be a little gold mine here, but I only found those two. This is a moth a sweater. Moth is a brand sold at Anthropology. It's, it's been around. It's got this little, can you see it here? There's the label. It's just a nice classic ribbed cream. It's really cute. It's just very simple. It's probably a size small. It looks little. Size small. So the brand on this is Flory Day, like Glory Day, uh, F-L-O-R-Y. And when I looked closely when I got home, it kind of looks like a middle to lower end like catalog company, but I thought this was really pretty. And this is just like a maxi length, um, like bathing suit cover up, which I thought was really pretty. I tend to do well with caftans and cover ups, bright colors, they photograph well. They're super lightweight when you're at places like the bins or any place where you're shopping by the pound. So this probably costs just a dollar. This is more of a pickup based on style than on brand. I will probably list this for about $25, $30 and really not sure, maybe 20 I'll get for it but it was really cute. So I figured I would go for it, even though I was trying to stick to fall stuff. I'm still selling stuff. I just sold a bathing suit a day or two ago. So summer stuff is still selling for me right now. Um, so we're gonna keep riding that wave until I can't anymore. All right, this was, this I picked up. This kind of looks like a little Depop piece, but I don't know what this is. And it just seemed too cute to leave behind. And it was very lightweight. It's a little bomber jacket. It was heavily branded. I would love it if anybody here knew what this was. It's called Groovy Colors, Stick Around for Joy. It says, I mean, the, the snaps are branded. This is branded. As long as there are groovy colors, it will be a little more fun in the world. The Groovy Colors Sound of the Universe. It's a little bomber jacket. Is it kids? It just says power, beautiful, Future. I loved the color of the sleeves, it's like a faux fur on the inside. This is the inside tag. It says 140. Is that kids? It's probably kids. Now that I'm looking at the sleeve length, this definitely looks like kids. But anyways, if you know anything about this, I thought this was a really cool little jacket. That might have been, uh, ooh, I don't know if that was a great pickup, but I thought it was really cool. All right, this is Dolan. This is a... Um, anthropology brand that is, you know, I, I leave a lot of Dolan behind, but I thought this was pretty. It's leopard, it has a little bit of uh, like a ruffle around the collar, has a little ruffle detail here, but then the back is more like jersey material. It is also a size large, which is nice. I just thought it was really cute. It looks really comfortable. I thought it was super cute. So I grabbed that, loved the color. I love leopard. My friend Kim held up some like uh, Talbots and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't look at Talbots or J. Jill. I got so much in my estate sale. I've been listing stuff slowly but surely. I'm just trying to make my way through all of the DMs and emails about some of the pieces in that haul. Despite having linen coming out of my eyeballs right now, I still picked up these Chico's pants because I thought they were really cute. They're size 2.5 and they're just these really beachy striped wide leg comfy linen pants. I actually took a pair of those J. Jill linen pants and I 
totally get it. I've never ever liked linen. I don't know why I didn't like it. It just didn't vibe with me, but I put on these black linen pants and they are so freaking comfortable and so cool. That's why everybody loves linen in the summer. So I'm kind of a convert. So anyways, these are really cute. This is a free people jacket that I was pretty excited about because it's so cute. It's just a little like cotton, almost like a terry cloth vibe, peplum. And then I got home and when I say saturated, look up, Free People Peplum Striped Jacket. Oh my Lord, there must be a hundred of these listed. Probably only gonna get like 20 or $25 for it. Uh, it's an extra small. It's really cute, but everybody and their brother has one listed on Poshmark. If you're watching me for like the first time or second time, um, I typically am better about looking up comps. I think looking up comps is really important, but when it comes to picking stuff up at the bins, if it's a brand that I'm familiar with, you know, there are certain brands that I'll just go for and not run comps on. If I found free people like at Savers and this was a $7 piece, I would definitely have run the comps and I probably would have left that behind, but for $1.50, I grab it. This is Mason Jewels. Again, this is not like a brand I'm like jumping for in the normal thrift, but I liked this pattern. I thought this was really pretty. It's pretty sheer and it has buttons down the back. I thought this was a nice piece. Wear with like a little cami underneath and some jeans, super lightweight. The sequins are nice, grabbed that. Just a couple more pieces. Stay till the end because I have an incredible pair of jeans that my girlfriend gave me that I'm so excited to share with you. And it's not part of any haul because she handed it to me. So I'm gonna throw it in at the end here. This is just a Zara piece. I came across a ton of Zara at this spot, but um, not all Zara pieces really sell great for me, but I thought this was really cute. And I loved this embroidered detail in the center. I'm laughing because Lulu is sleeping and she's she's not quite snoring, but it's like she's like whistling through her nose or something. She's making a lot of noise. This is just a gray hooded Athleta sweater. It's a little bit longer in the back. Um, this is from 2015, but I loved that it was neutral. I love that it was a zip, had a hood. It's an extra small, but I thought it was really cute. It's in beautiful condition. I got these shoes and uh, even as I'm looking at them right now, I'm not like super excited about them. They're really cute but uh, they're, just, they're just a little dingy. They're not like a bright white, but they're these Michael Kors leather slides. I just thought the embellishments were really fun. The retail value was really good. Um, I'm hoping to get like, I don't know, $25, $30 for these. I think they're really cute for with the right outfit. So they have like this little black trim and then the stars across the toe. So I'm just gonna probably Mr. Clean very gently um, try to loosen up some of the um, marks on here and see how they do. I thought those were cute. All right, here is the finale, which has nothing to do with my thrift trip, but my girlfriend Kim um, has an aunt who is moving and was asked to do similar to like what I was doing for the estate sale bio. And she's going through all these clothes, which is why we went to Buffalo Exchange together and ended up here in, um, in Cambridge. Kim is also the person who went through everything from the estate sale with me. So we've been like, we've been up to our eyeballs in like vintage stuff these past few weeks. So she was going through stuff and she came across these jeans. Um, she doesn't sell on Poshmark. I keep telling her to, cause she has a great eye. But she gave these jeans to me and they are fantastic. So these are Studio 54 jeans from the 70s. They have a five and a four on the back pocket. And in the front, they are just like pleated, super high waisted tapered leg, you know the look. The last sale for these on Poshmark sold for $140. I saw some other listings for these. Um, I think one sold for 50, one sold for $19. So it seems like someone didn't realize what they had on their hands when they priced them. I'm definitely gonna aim for that upper, like I'll probably list them for 150 since the only comp that I saw on, on Poshmark was 140. Um, and these are just fantastic. And then I researched a little bit and I found these fantastic ads. Like a girl, basically this beautiful naked woman, like bending over and pulling up the jeans. And the slogan said, now everyone can get into Studio 54. All right, my camera overheated. Um, so I can't remember exactly where I was. I'm talking about these Studio 54 jeans, but they are fantastic. 
Oh, Studio 54 was a club in New York City that was very hard to get into. So the slogan, now everybody can get into Studio 54, um, is pretty awesome. So thank you so much, Kim, if you're watching. That was so kind of you to give these to me. Kim is so thoughtful and I really appreciate that she gave these jeans to me and I'm so excited to sell these and see how they do. All right, I'm getting hot here in this wool sweater so I'm kind of excited to take it off and cool off. Mm. Pumpkin Spice Cold Brew is out at Dunkin' Donuts. If anybody is wondering, it is August. We are in full fall mode. I got my fall sweater on, got my Pumpkin Spice Cold Brew. It is so delicious, I love it. So I am so happy that the Garment Districts by the Pound section is open again. I love, love, love shopping in Boston. And this is about as close as I can get to the Boston bins right now since they have been closed since COVID. You know, it's my favorite place to be is like digging through clothes. So this was, wonderful. Thank you so much for checking out another video of mine. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you had fun and subscribe if you'd like to see more from my channel. This week I am heading out to Pennsylvania to bring my daughter to school and I definitely plan on hitting the bins in Pittsburgh. After I drop her off at Penn State we're going to Pittsburgh to visit Anthony for the first time so I'm excited to do some thrifting out in Pennsylvania. I'm sure I will take you along with me. So I'll have some PA content for you in the upcoming week. I hope you guys all are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.